Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In 2021, Texas was blasted with an ice storm and a lot of homeowners were stuck in this situation where they didn't know how to get heat in their homes. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can power your gas furnace with a simple car battery that you can remove out of your car. What I'm about to show you is only $100 if you already have your car battery that you can take out. Alternatively, you can purchase this item as well as a battery for a total of $200. So less than a generator, and you can power your furnace for a few days on a single battery, which is very comforting to know as you go into the winter months. So let's dive into it and show you how to do this trick right now. All right, so I'm gonna show you this whole process from start to finish. Currently, my furnace is wired up to the grid to my home power. So I'm just gonna open this up and I'm gonna show you exactly how everything is working with the power. So we're just gonna flip that on and you'll notice how the system functions. All right, so as you can see, our inducer motor is running. And the next thing you'll notice down here is that glowing hot surface igniter. And then after a couple seconds, we will have ignition. So you can see we have ignition. Again, this is on our 120 volt power. It's going into our switch. So let's go ahead and turn that off. And we're gonna show you, we're disconnecting here. Whoever wired this, there's supposed to be a box here and they did not put that in correctly. So all we have here, and don't be intimidated by the wiring. These are very simple. Once I get these disconnected, I'll show you what each is for. So this is for the condensate pump. Normally it will have a blue, a brown, and a green. The brown wire is for your 120 volt supply and blue is for neutral. So if you have a 96% efficiency furnace, you definitely want to hook these up. Mine is an 80% furnace, so this is only used for the summer months. So I'm just gonna set this aside over here now these are the two main power uh, wires for the furnace. It's just gonna be a black and a white wire. So 120 volts here and neutral on the white wire. And these are the two wires that go to the furnace. So we're just gonna abandon these. You can put some wire nuts over these just to make sure that in case that switch gets bumped, nothing's gonna happen. And then I'm going to show you now how we are going to get 120 volts to these wires to power the furnace from a car battery. So here is what we are going to use to power our furnace. We just disconnected the power here. All we have to do is connect power to the black and white wire for the furnace and we will get it running. So this is the battery out of my camper. It's an 844 cold cranking amps battery as you can see right there. Uh, but you can use the battery off of just about any car and run your furnace. Now, this is what we're going to be using. This is a DC inverter. It takes DC current, which is what a car uses, DC voltage, uh, which is measured in 12 volt supply. And it takes it and it puts it through here and it converts it to 110 volts AC. Now, believe it or not, this thing will power our furnace for several days. Um, you simply connect the leads here, 12 volt and your negative to the battery, red to positive, black to neutral, just so we're clear, and the same here. Now, this is what we're going to be using to plug in here, and we're going to hardwire it to our furnace. And now, this is just a pigtail that you can pick up from Home Depot or any other home improvement store. And it basically just has a black lead, a white lead, and a ground. So I'll show you just how simple this is to wire up. All right, so we're gonna take our black lead and we're gonna wrap it to the black here. I'm gonna rob these since we know we don't have power to this switch. And we're gonna take our white and we're gonna hook it up to white. And we're gonna wire nut that. Now my particular furnace actually doesn't have a ground in here, so I'm not gonna worry about that part of it. So just black to black, white to white. All right, so we're gonna plug our inverter in right here. 
And the cool thing about it is we actually have another plug. So if you need to charge something or power a lamp to, to have the lights on, you can also plug that in as well. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this switch on. And here in just a moment, when the thermostat uh, registers, this unit will fire up. There we go. We have our inducer motor on. Next thing we'll see is our hot surface igniter. There we have it. And next, our gas will fire. And we have ignition. Next, after the burners have been on for about 30 seconds, our fan will kick on and we will have heat coming out of the vents. There we go, I don't know if you heard that, but the fan is on. So we've got good airflow, and as you can see, we've got 109 degrees blowing out of the vents. Now, just so you guys know, I'm not doing some funky business. I'm gonna show you <laughs> behind the scenes here. We've got our battery hooked up to our inverter. Green LED is on to our pigtail, straight into the furnace, and our power is still disconnected here. So again, I got this battery from our camper. A lot of you guys have campers yourself, and so you can rob the battery out of that in case of an emergency. And worst case scenario, you know, just purchase one of these if you wanna be proactive and just keep it down here in the basement wherever your furnace is. And don't forget that you have to get these separate. When you buy the inverter, it does not come with these. So I bought them separate. It's in the same aisle. Or if you get this on Amazon, make sure that you pick up these. This is a 1000 watt inverter. So I'm gonna include a 1000 watt inverter in the video description. Isn't that amazing that something this small and a battery can power your furnace? Now, the best part about this is that just having this knowledge alone is empowering you guys because in Texas and when we had this earthquake, people flooded Home Depot and Lowe's like myself being the dummy that I am, but people were not flooding to Harbor Freight or Electronic Express or Walmart to pick up an inverter and a battery because they just didn't know that this works. Now, if you're curious to know how long this will power my furnace, check out this video and I'm going to test this system and see just how long this single fully charged battery will run my furnace before it gives up. Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you on the next one later.